Hi guys, and we are back again. For so, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Soapsies. And today we're gonna continue on with the uh, doing of the men soap. Um, yeah, because like I said, mustn't forget our men out there. They want to smell good too, and they need pampering as well. So today we're gonna do the uh, Abercrombie and Finch type and it's called fierce so stay tuned we'll be right back okay guys we are back and I have my oils in here already so we're going to be using and I just measured those things out so we'll put that aside over there we're going to be using today the Aztec version of the Finch. Can you read that okay? Let's see if I can get that in there for you. Abercrombie and Finch Fierce type. And again, I use a lot of their fragrances because I just they've never failed me I don't have problem with rising or acceleration so we just keep on going with it and then we're gonna do again just a one pound today so here's my mold and for any leftovers we got another one over here to take care of that so we're going to bring this to a light trace Put that in there burp it now, I think on that last video, I said with your lye water, you add the water to the lye. I apologize for those that caught that and those that didn't. Please accept my apology on that. Because when you're doing your lye, your lye water, you want to add the lye to the water. Never add the water to the lye. Okay, so then we get that. We're in that with that, adding the lye water in. Okay. I'm not going to keep you guys on while I get this up to trace and we'll get a color on it. Um, today, again, we are going to use from a Missouri Candle Wax Company. And we're using their green chrome oxide for coloring today. You guys see that okay? Well, I don't know... My lighting is just not so wonderful on this one. Um, okay. Anyway, um, we're going to be using about a about a fourth of a no an eighth because I think a fourth would be too green. So you can always color these more or less depending on how it looks to you. So it's personal preference. Start off with a fourth. And then um, if you want it darker, add more. Okay, be right back, hold on. Okay, we're back. And at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the scent. <laughs> just gonna I'm just gonna wing this but it should be about a fourth of a teaspoon for the color 
and like I said guys um, it's more of a preference you can put a little bit more you can put a little bit less you can do a different color it's up to you <laughs> see that it is yep. I'm going to pull you back a little bit I think we're up too close hold on here we go there we are maybe you can see that a little bit better all right there's that so it's kind of a kind of a pea green that's what that looks like and I'm gonna leave it all right so I'm gonna take that off put that to the side there and go ahead and get this scraped Okay. All right. So we have our one pound loaf ready. Here we are. And here we go. I like the way this one thickened up. It thickened up a little bit better than the one we did last time. So. Tap it out. Okay. I think we can do maybe... A little bit more on that one. And let's see what kind of texturizing we can get here. That looks okay. We're still coming up with some bubbles here, guys. So we're just going to do this again. And do, 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 do. Go this away for some excitement. And twirl on the ends to give that ends a little bit of something, something. There. How's that? Yep, got a little bit of a bubble there. And there we go. Okay, and we'll spray it. Try to keep the soda ash down, ladies and gentlemen. And that is 91% alcohol that I'm using on that. Get the highest alcohol content you can get when you're doing that. Yeah, it's a little better here. Okay, so with that and my new, ooh, yeah, I like these. And then, hey, it's in the shape of a shamrock, I believe is what these are. 
yeah, Samrock. So the hence the green color. Okay, silly me. Anyway, and then we're gonna put a green soap in it. How about that? think there's enough for two on that leftover. We'll try it. Uh, I mean, at worst comes a worst. It'll just be just another little bitty sample. Which is what we like to have for our customers anyway. It is to try to get something for you guys for samples if you want them. that I don't like this scraper I have to remember to try not to use this one it's good for some things for what I for what I do and for what my needs are I thought it wasn't going to be nice because it's like a little bitty spoon and when you're doing layers it's a good thing to have because then you can kind of scoop out what you need but if you're just scraping it's not that it's not necessary so let's get these in to their crevices so it'll have a nice get over there and we might have to take some of this out of these And no worries, because that can always be done, ladies and gentlemen. If you got too much in, hey, scoop it out. Try to make it even. That's what I'm doing here. Just trying to make it even. have to analyze and put some back. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm just going to take my knife and even it out to try to get it nice and even. For that, you can see how those little holes came up there. There we are, nice and even, and then we will let these dry overnight. And there you are, ladies and gentlemen, so I will say at this time, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.